What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And uh it's raining out, finally. I mean, then all you're getting wet. But we're gonna work on this thing. And uh I don't know, probably just patch up some piddly stuff like I said last week. Um and I'm gonna work on cleaning this disaster up today. Uh, so I can actually get that motor out here and get it put together. I was going to carry the engine out here and have it ready to put on the engine stand, but it's pouring rain and the block, I mean, the box is heavy because the block is heavy. And, um, I don't know. I just, it's one of those things. I don't really want to carry it in the rain and get everything wet and I mean, it's in plastic, but if I drop it or something, I don't know. It's just, it's raining and, uh, we'll see. We'll see where we get. Um, I'm gonna finish the rest of this stuff first because it needs this guy really need to clean this garage it needs to get done so yeah I'm gonna jump right into this so one of the first things I wanted to do last weekend and I never got around to it was removing this tape from where I put the uh, 415 of or this rust on the rear quarters here. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's get this tape uh, ripped off and see what this looks like uh, without the tape. Perfect, but uh, you know, put my fingers back there in that lip. There's port 15 all over it, which is exactly what I wanted. This side here. Like I said, if you go back there, it's so smooth. Port 15, I should save this. I'm rusting anymore and it looks a lot cleaner than that rust there it's black it ain't silver whatever Who cares it's a race car fun fact is you can only see it from the back side you know from the front you can't even tell really that i poured 15 any of that which makes me wonder i mean if i throw a wheel on there how much will we actually see pretty good actually I ain't got no complaints with that somebody might point it out and be like why is it black back there I'd be like because rust sucks that's why so that's done finally got that done and uh, I'm gonna move on to the fuel tank that I keep talking to you guys about like every week I adjust this camera here and move on to the fuel tank I gotta finish this project up because I keep talking about it. And like I said, when I put this motor together, I want this table. So, my old car table sitting here, fuel tank's sitting on it. I want to use the table. So, I gotta get this fuel tank back up in the car. And uh, in order to do that, I gotta put this on. And we gotta figure out these fittings and what I need to order. And um, luckily, I just happen to have a 45 and a 90 out of my catch can kit. So we're gonna use those to figure out what I would need to order for fuel fittings for this. And then, uh, yeah, now I can go order the stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna go grab the old tank and we're gonna get that sender ripped off there and figure out how we're gonna do the sender.
Ew. Ugh. That fuel, it stinks. It still stinks. It's terrible. It's fucking terrible. But, it's all right. I got an idea. Stand by. So, as you see, I'm working on uh, cleaning this up, and um, well, if you look here, I cut that bracket off, which is supposed to be, you can see, the bracket was like, I don't know, spot welded on or whatever, and I cut it off, or I cut most of it off with the uh, Dremel, and uh, I was sanding it down and I should get it flat. I mean, if I took the big grinder to it, I could probably smooth that out. So I might do that. Um, but otherwise, I just took the, uh, I just took the whole sending unit piece, whatever you want to call that nasty cruddy thing down there. I just took that thing off. And uh, I think I'm gonna leave this bracket because like, the end of the day really this thing doesn't need to come off of here because it would be sitting down in the tank anyways if it's a factory so instead of like risking cutting through this where the spot welds are or, you know damaging this thing i think i'm just gonna run it the way it is it's clean it off um well i'm gonna paint it that's what i'm doing next we're gonna go paint this thing so it looks nice Alright, well, while that fuel center cover is drying, the paint, um, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up over here. Yeah, that one, the one I keep talking about. So, instead of making you guys sit here and watch me clean that, because nobody wants to do that, that's not why you're here, you're here for car content. Um, we're just gonna do this the quick way. Now I'm just gonna snap my fingers. There we go. Garage is clean, guys. Um, quit raining out. Oh, that's kind of cool. No more rain. And uh, yeah, got the bench cleaned off for the most part. P Tech solenoid. Bench is cleaned off. Everything. Yeah, it's somewhat organized in here. Like, there's actually a corner that I can work in, which is pretty sweet. So now, it'll just be a matter of... Skirt, skirt, skirt. Engine block. And I can finally start maybe, you know, putting this motor together. It's only been putting it off for like a year, so. Finally started getting that engine put together, so that'll be great. And uh, 
this here, I think. I don't really want to touch it. My fingers are dirty. Yeah, feels dry. Should be dry. Should look pretty good. Turned out all right. I ain't even mad about it. So yeah, we'll go get that thing. Uh, put it on the tank. Alrighty, so that cover on here. Grab these fittings, find out what I need to order. Let's see, I'll start with a 90. Throw a 90 on here. Oh, 90 clears that, so that's a plus. Um, so I mean a 90 in theory would work, let's check the 45, uh, don't, uh, let's try this 45. Eight, but if I were to make, I think that'll work. What well, best is this gonna get? So I need a 45 and a 90. Perfect. All right, so now I know I need a 45 and I need a 90. Um, probably go and order those up. The fittings on the way. And uh, I can get this tank in the dang car finally. Um, run my fuel lines up to the engine bay. So I think the next step is going to be order parts for the tank. Um, it's a few things that I need to order for the engine so I can actually put it together. Uh, it's, like I need Honda Bond. Um, I don't want to buy it too soon and sit around and go bad on me. So. Figured I'd wait, I'm gonna order two behind a bond and uh, go through all my engine stuff and see if there's anything I missed that I need to order. And then uh, hopefully get the block on that, uh, the block on the engine stand and start putting the motor together. So uh, yeah, a couple things coming up. Fuel tank, engine, making progress. So, uh, like, subscribe, see you in the next video. Peace!